Hello everyone, welcome to Spa for my first ever ACC GT4 race. Now we picked this, the Janetta. This was my favourite car in the short test that I did. Now, I have tinkered with the tyre pressures to keep a few people happy. So hopefully uh, this will drive a little bit better than it did in the test. So we've put a qualifying lap in. We've qualified P8. Uh, good race this one. Hopefully you enjoy watching it as much as I enjoyed racing this one. So let's get on with it. The track temp is 38 Celsius. Okay, Dave, be ready. Watch for the lights. There we go. Oh, I forgot about this start procedure thing on ACC. The while since I've done a race on ACC, so God knows how I'm going to get on. I hope I've got enough fuel. We've got enough for 11 laps. Probably way, way, way too much. But I'd rather have too much than not enough. So we're in the Janetta. This was my favourite car from the uh, the short test that I did. Don't want a penalty. Go, there we go. Right. No penalty. Hold your line. He's still there. He's still there. Got through clean. Got through clean. Right, right, Woohoo! Too wide through uh, Rouge. My word, that Porsche is fast. Car right. Oh my god. Still there. Look how Still fast there. the Porsche is. Right clear. Car right. He's still there. Oh, we're going to have to make right. up for it somehow on the twisty stuff. I don't know where this car is going to be strong. anywhere. I can't see anybody else driving it. So it's maybe not the best car to have. Oh, cold tyres. Everybody's on cold tyres though. Okay Dave, hold your nerve, just keep it smooth, no mistakes. Oh, that's wide. We're still in touch, just. Man, did you see that Porsche on lap one, though? Blimey. How fast was that? Try and keep it within track limits. Bit of argy bargy there. Clear left. Car left. Clear left. B9. BMW up the inside. Audi's off to the right. On right. The left, sorry. The Clear all around. Yeah, BMW got it done there. So we gained one, lost one. Off straight ahead, somebody cut the course there. Where's this guy going? Good fun, this though.
There's an Aston behind us there, sniffing. Warning, yeah. Probably deserved that one, to be honest. That was very wide. Alright, Dave, the next car is Henry. Any more warnings, really? Yeah, it's just not got the top end speed. This thing. Oh. Left side. Clear left. Left side. Clear left. Getting a bit crazy now. It's getting a bit lively. Seven. Fifteen minutes left. Car right. Clear right. Clear all round. Into P6. Yeah, <laughs> it was a bit loose there. Is that the X Man United player? Oh, too late into there, Dave. Don't pump me, don't pump me, don't pump me. Yeah, bloody bugger. Oof. So the tyre pressures are probably too high, you're going to tell me. But they're even, there's no ballooning going on. We're catching this guy up, or what? So 1.2 seconds for P4. We've gapped P6. That's quick, jeez. It's quicker than my last, but nowhere near that. Henry is really new in. The gap's now 1.8. Well done, Dave. This is terrific. Exactly what we came here for. U5. The lap time was at 233.94. Too late on the brakes there. No. So, 0 0.9 seconds. Back. So Henry's caught up behind. He's taken a tenth or two out of us there.
So we don't want to rush past this guy, but again... Oh, you can hear that Porsche. It sounds good. But I don't want these guys behind to catch up either. I don't want to lose any time. So as soon as we can, we'll try and get by. Couldn't go anywhere there, damn. Left side. Clear left. Nice one. Great move. Keep it up. If he hits back straight away. Right, Henry is half a second or so behind the P5. Seven seconds behind P3. Doesn't think we're going to catch him up. Yeah, you've got to drive them a little bit differently than the um, GT3s, obviously. There's nowhere near as much grip. But good fun, good fun. I like it. I like it a lot. Caught up with P3 quite a bit there. What's he in the McLaren? BMW seems fast. You pulling away from the guy behind. The gap's now 3.8. Okay. I can see him. I can see him. A bit too late, is it? No, I've got it done. So 234.3 by him. We're going to the 232.8. Blimey. Really hard to see that apex on the right with the right hand drive car because of this air pillar. But the gap behind's increased now, with uh, just over six and a half minutes left. Wow, you bloody bugger. Weird that though, wasn't it? 
just over rotates, doesn't give you any any warning. That feels a bit strange. There, it's slow speed. This lap's a little bit quicker again, we're uh, a couple of tenths up. Almost three tenths. Okay Dave, you're in the sky end, the gap's now 4.8 seconds. It's on your apexes, wait for the chances to come mate. Five minutes remaining, five minutes left. You've used half your fuel. 234.4 from him, we did a 232.6. Maybe an extra couple of laps, we might have caught him up maybe. If the uh, pace continues as it is now, we're not gonna just we're not going to get there. Obviously, we overfueled massively, as usual. quicker lap. At the moment, we're uh, three quarters of a second up. We're catching him. Ah, uh, another warning. Don't want any drive throughs. So, three seconds, probably two more laps, do we think? Yeah, two more laps. Where is he slower? So he upped his game there, 233.2. He did a 232.2. So he's getting a shift on. Yeah, he's getting a wriggle on now. Just two minutes left, two minutes to go. Is it going to be a warning? No time gain. No time gain. Lost a bit of time though. Lost some time. Mm. 
It's the rest of the circuit where I, I seem to gain a bit of time. On him. Or they're towards the back end. Although it's clearing off now, I think. Yeah, so he loses a little bit of time on the back there. Blimey, boss feeder act's wrong. Maybe need to turn the road effects down a little bit. Okay, Dave, you've got 10 minutes of fuel remaining. Ah, oh, too late. Yeah, 2.32.6 from him then. Okay, that's the finish. Well done, mate. Was that it? Oh, I thought there was another lap. Ah, oh, well, I'll take that. Car left. Clear left. Ah, not a bad race. Right. There we go. So, there we go. Up to P4. I'm happy with that result. Pace improved a little bit as the race went on, as I got used to the car, which I like. Um, a little bit of a strange over-rotation on the slower corners, which I can't fathom, but I felt that in the GT3s and ACC as well. So I don't know if that's a force feedback issue, but I've changed the wheel since then, so I don't think it is. But it's a little bit strange, but... Maybe when you get used to it, it might not be too bad. Um, overall, experience-wise, it's great. The cars are pretty well balanced. Um, I'll like to try some more. I'll try and get some multi-class racing in over the next few days. But overall, the experience was a good one. I really, really enjoyed that one. For my first race, big thumbs up. Uh, if you liked it, if you wouldn't mind giving it a big thumbs up as well, that would be appreciated. And if you want to see more, There'll be an icon above my head now you can click if you want to subscribe. Straight over there will be my latest video. And up there in the top corner will be a video that YouTube thinks that you might like to watch. Um, as always, thanks for watching. See you later. Cheers.